<laughs> Guys, I'm messing with you. I did not join a team. I just wanted to have a little fun with it. But what's going on, everybody? Wreck here, bringing you guys a video for today. Man, I have not not said Red Wreck in over a year. That actually just feels kind of weird just saying, what's up, guys? Wreck here. But I mean, we're going to have to get used to it, at least for now, because I do plan on staying solo. So everybody wants to know, what in the world went down? As soon as it happened, I my DMs got flooded. My mentions got flooded. Everybody just wanted to know what the hell was going on so I will tell you what's going on and I guess the only place to start for this video is to answer questions that everybody's been asking me ever since the first incident when the whole red house left so this is basically how the story goes the red house which is now the obey house which is Gandhi Nick's formula Kiwis and random or at least those were the people in the red house at the time that I went to the red house when I joined red they all left red initially and it was like a big deal and basically how the story goes is they had indifferences and they had disagreements with people that were on the investment and management side of Red Reserve. You know, the whole business CEO kind of people, they had disagreements with them and it's normal in any business relation, in any relation at all, there's gonna be disagreements. Unfortunately, stuff didn't work out. They didn't like each other. They want their separate raise and that was that. And the consequences of losing pretty much the face of your brand is that you essentially get a lot of hate towards your brand you know what I mean so I will say this the guys at the house they actually made it very clear when they left that they had no ill will towards people like myself and the other snipers and creators in red they actually said please don't hate on them because those are amazing people if they decide to stay in red so I do appreciate that they actually made that clear so it wasn't too bad but overall as a whole it was just kind of a meme you know what I mean you guys know how Twitter works there are so many memes and all that stuff and if you remember watching the redemption team Taj they actually put like a bunch of the tweets at the beginning I thought the redemption team Taj was cool and that kind of brings me on to what I was trying to say we had to suffer through the hate it wasn't really suffering but we just had to kind of deal with it and put up with the memes up until we essentially released the redemption team Taj and I think that was kind of like the turnaround that was when things pretty much start to get better people didn't care you know the stuff was in the past and now the obey guys they're just killing it on Fortnite. they all got over a million subscribers and you know I consider them you know my friends you know Nick and everyone I've known forever and they got a million subscribers oh by the way if you guys, before you guys comment, look at, I, I know I got piercings, all right? I gotta keep them in for a little bit. Normally, I won't wear them while making videos, but you know. But yeah, everybody just kind of moved on from that. They were doing Fortnite. They were having great success. I could not be more happy, especially my man Nick that just passed a million. So yeah, that was all cool. And now Red was becoming a team that a lot of people wanted to join, particularly snipers. And I'll get into something with like sniping and trick shotting in a little bit. But every single sniper literally wanted to join Red on BO4. The BO4, you know, team Tajas and all that stuff were going sick. They were doing great. Every sniper wanted to join Red. There were people leaving store to join Red and all that stuff. So it was stuff was going good you know the, the perception in the at least in the t public twitter eyes was was that it was a dope team a lot of people wanted to join even some trick shotters even though i was the only one still just liked the name and the brand of red and they were asking me and like hey how can i get in as a trick shot or this and that so then let's move on to what everyone wanted to know about the rc because this is kind of going to get into everything why was no trick shotter picked up during the rc well i don't want to get too much into it but i'll basically explain it like this there i could name you five snipers that killed the red rc and were making content and hitting clips and deserved to get in red before any trick shutter deserved in red but they didn't get in red if that makes sense so i like to put the labels aside i kind of got past the whole labeling trick shotting and sniping i kind of got past that on bo4 I, I just i don't like it all right i basically looked at it like this you either hit clips and make content and that's it that's all it is hitting clips and making content so when you put labels aside there were like five more snipers that deserve to get in red before any trick shotters get in and it's not a right thing to do to recruit like a trick shotter in red just because we feel like we had to recruit a trick shotter because then that's more of a pr move rather than a genuine recruit that would actually fit into the team and be a good fit if you guys know what i'm saying so yeah i hope you guys can understand what that kind of comes from because i get a lot of people still to this day ask me about that so now let's get into what actually happened today so i was basically sitting here just like this just like i am now playing apex legends i've been addicted to this game it is amazing like 11 out of 10 game but that's besides the point i was just sitting down playing some apex legends then i take a break and i look at twitter 
and I just see like 20 plus notifications, like 20 plus DMs, and then I'm like, what is going on? Like, I'm not this famous, all right? So then I look in the lads Discord, which is like the sniper Discord that has like, you know, Twyman, like the grind squad and those people, and I see almost every single red person, member, sniper, whatever in the Discord channel. I'm like, what is going on? So I joined the Discord server and they basically explain, you know, the whole story to me. And I know you guys have probably seen other videos talking about the red situation. So I'm just going to sum it up very briefly. When you have a team and you turn it into like a professional organization, it becomes a business, you know, an organization and an organization has a budget. It has funds. It has people to pay social media teams, professional players, etc. You name it. But what happens when that money isn't managed properly or when there isn't enough financial growth to sustain, you know, the demands of people that are working for a team? then you go broke and that's essentially what happened and i wasn't going to talk about that but it's already public knowledge what happened so i don't see an issue talking about it and i'm no longer with red reserve anyways but yeah i mean it happens man like companies go bankrupt but red just ran out of money essentially so people on social media teams for example people that were working for red and people that were like on the pro team which is like kind of where it started they're not getting paid so why are you going to stay in an organization obviously when you're not getting paid so it made sense like the pro team was like yeah you can't afford to pay us you're out of money we're out you know there's no like you can't restrict us and hold us in a team and we're not getting paid so then after all that happened we weren't sure what was going to happen with the content side that's what we were talking about in the discord but we all just kind of came to the understanding that yeah we're just gonna have to leave because we don't know what's going on with red if it'll get sold we don't even know so red is technically no longer red it still has the name it's still verified on twitter but it's no longer like the red reserve or at least not the one that it used to be or ever will be but yeah it just happened you know what i mean stuff just happens it really do just be like that sometimes you guys know what i mean so yeah it's no big deal we all just kind of was like yeah that's it it's the end of the road we're gonna close the chapter but we're all gonna keep in contact obviously like we still have our chat and we're making decisions and plans for future moves and i can't really get too much into that because i don't know how much of that stuff they've made public knowledge but yeah there's just, there's some plans for other cool things but as far as teams are concerned i'm really not gonna join a team at least at the moment and that kind of brings me to my next thing i know i made the tweet talking about call of duty and I, yes i love call of duty but i'm not gonna lie to you guys do you think like like and i know some of you guys could see it in my videos but how much do you really think i really enjoyed he hit the most insane glitch spot trick shot top plays here we got my man enter player name here going to the glitch spot using his grapple then he does two wins swaps hits the guy across the map wall bangs the guy oh my god troika adelia reload i don't i like i didn't care it just felt so disingenuous and i hate making stuff when i feel disingenuous and i kind of felt like i was like a machine on a mechanical thing and being in red almost made me feel restricted to expand even though i had no restrictions i just felt subconsciously restricted to expand out of cod because i was in red and no one else was not doing cod you know what i mean and even now if i were to join dare or soar or ion or anything i just like even though i know i won't be restricted subconsciously being in a team that was known or originated from cod just subconsciously consciously makes me feel creatively restricted even though i'm probably not i could do whatever i want that's why you guys will see i'll start doing some of that some live streams and some videos going for kill records and stuff like that because i love this game i'm pretty good at it and i really want to start making content so if you guys do see a lot of apex videos then just know that i i told you and i hope you guys stick around and i do really blame myself and this is where it kind of gets a little heartfelt but i i truly do blame myself I guess not, not, maybe not for expanding earlier, but because I revolved my content so much around my trick shots instead of myself personally, I kind of feel like anything that's not caught trick shotting, a lot of people aren't interested, but I'm grateful because I know that there's still a handful of you guys that are definitely going to be watching me and liking my videos and leaving nice comments no matter what because i truly do have like the most positive fan base and that just comes from being a nice person to everyone like i've never had any drama with any single person ever there's not a single person that i dislike in the community i don't have anyone blocked other than like just weird accounts but yeah it's just like all you gotta do is stay focused on your grind get your own bread and just like avoid getting into drama with people just be a nice guy and you'll you'll pretty much make it anywhere if you keep your head focused and that 
that's that's basically all it is to it so that's what i want to do with apex right now hope a lot of you guys still stick in to watch but i'm really curious like honestly i'm genuinely curious to know how many of you guys truly truly only care about watching my videos if you see it's like mw2 trick shot kill cam like how many of you guys actually care or wouldn't care if i were to expand into apex because i'm already doing it i already made videos we're gonna be doing like kill record live streams and all that stuff so i'm already doing it that's just a fair warning to you guys i do see this game being long term but as far as cod is concerned of course i still pretty much only enjoy mw2 bo4 maybe if they work on some things it'll be fun but mw2 is kind of like what you'll see me play as far as cod is concerned but i do love this game a lot so i will be doing it and other than that i guess that's it expect some changes but at the same time nothing is changing like i'm gonna do what i wanted to do regardless i basically was just in red because i was homies with all of them that's why i stayed in i i met them all at anaheim we all hung out and i like the red snipers that's why despite being the only trick shotter i put the labels aside and i stayed in red just because i was cool with them even though every single person was like join ion join dare like try to join sore like nah I'm, I'm chill with everyone in red i love all the guys or the homies i hung out with them and i'm staying in but now that this all ended we're all solo and that's it <sighs> so yeah that's basically the entire story i hope i didn't ramble on too much because the first time i recorded this i was talking for like 45 minutes and yeah nah, that's too much so yeah hope you guys kind of understood where i'm coming from expect to see some mw2 but a lot of this game i will be grinding out content on this game and just experimenting with other things i know my channel will probably go to one quarter one half one fifth one tenth 120th of what my normal ratings are but i don't care and i know it sounds cliche but it really is just about having fun and everything else will follow when the guys from the red house they switched to fortnite their ratings dropped a lot it got really bad but the more they stuck to it because they genuinely enjoyed it and you could tell in their videos that they genuinely enjoyed it rather than sitting on bo2 making a cut com every day like a robot not really having fun just having the same routine over and over it's not fun it's not fun that's exactly how it feels with cod right now unless they make some changes but mw2 remastered i heard it's coming out soon so you never know next cod but for now we're gonna be sticking to new things experimenting and if my ratings drop then whatever they drop and we'll rebuild it with whoever wants to stay loyal i guess so yeah i really appreciate everyone sticking around i love you all so much hope you guys have a great day it's been wreck and i'll catch you guys later